Let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Hi, I was wondering if you guys thought it was necessary that we also bring guys that Deshaun Watson has played with, like a Deanna Johnson. You know, I would see us training him to the Cardinals alongside with Lonnie, possibly, or somebody else. You know, I, I would really want to see that Pro Bowl caliber wide receiver with reliable hands. And also, I wanted to know if it was even possible if we could possibly get Duke Johnson back. Because I know he played a little bit with, you know, Deshaun. So I was just wondering what you guys thought about, you know, the possibilities of doing those things. I know you said how you are like, more of a, a real scat back in the backfield alongside with Deshaun, you know. So, yeah, I just wanted to see what you guys think. Go Browns. As always, appreciate all the voicemails. Jeff, I, I don't think um, I don't think going out and I, I think he meant David Johnson um, and, and Duke Johnson. I don't think it's necessary to get guys that Deshaun played with before necessarily. I think he's got to get used to the guys here. Um, but yeah. I, I, I would like them to get another veteran wide receiver. Uh, I really would. Yeah, Andre Hopkins would be fantastic, but that price tag is it, yeah. it, it can't be done. Um now there there is actually some some thought some talk coming out of Arizona that if they're they're gonna scrap it out that he will be available. But I mean, again, Cleveland doesn't have the draft assets to make right. that sort of trade or the cap room to make it work. But yeah, that would be fantastic because uh, when they were together, uh, DeAndre was the best wide receiver in, in the NFL. I will absolutely uh, put my money behind that. Yeah, the running back, uh, you can find guys. And, and again, you know, a guy that can catch passes out of the backfield, it's nice. Um, it, it is something that Deshaun does like to use. Uh, but uh, I, 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 I'm not – look, this is a guy who took a, over a year off. I, I think any chemistry that he has with those guys is probably gone. Uh, you know, again, uh, there's a, still people that want to bring in Will Fuller. I, I'm not interested in that. Uh, he's, he's just not going to make it work. A veteran wide receiver would be great. I think a uh, a more stable veteran tight end. Um, not, not that they need a tight end, but if you can get a guy that who's come in who, who maybe you know had a cup of coffee with Deshaun at some point, uh, and the, the Texans cycle through. I mean, my goodness, the after his first year, uh, I want to say that they drafted three tight ends in the first four rounds the next year. Not not hardly any of those guys could play, but. They're, they're, you, they, they need just a little bit of oomph there. Um, and the, the offensive line from, from Deshaun's time in Houston, look, I, I covered a team where Ode Abushi was their best offensive lineman. I'm not really interested in any of the guys who were around and that, that would be available. So it's, it's more of just about finding talent. And, look, Deshaun is a, a talented player. He's a good leader. He will find ways to make it work with whoever they put in that, around him.